An asteroid trailing after Mars could actually be the stolen twin of our moon. We know Mars has moons, Phobos and Deimos, and this is something new, a distant asteroid trailing in the gravitational wake of the planet Mars has been observed in greater detail than ever before, and the close-up reveals a surprising resemblance, one that raises some interesting questions about this object's ancient origins. Kindly support my Patreon account because YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. The asteroid in question is called 101-429 or 1998-VF31 and it's a group of Trojan asteroids sharing the orbit of Mars. Trojan asteroids are celestial bodies they fall into gravitational balanced or regions of space in the vicinity of other planets located 60 degrees in front and of behind the planet. Now most of the Trojan asteroids we know about are uh, they, they share Jupiter's orbit but other planets have them too including Mars and Earth as well. Now what makes 1998 VF31 hereafter called 101-429 interesting is that among the red planet's trailing Trojans, the ones that follow behind Mars as it orbits the Sun, 101-429 appears to be unique. The rest of the group, called L5 Martian Trojans, all belong to what's known as the Eureka family, consisting of 5,261 Eureka, the first Mars Trojan discovered, and a bunch of small fragments believed to have come loose from their parent space rock. Now, asteroid 101-429 is different, and in a new study led by astronomers from the Armagh Observatory and Planetarium in Northern Ireland, researchers wanted to examine why. Using a spectrograph called X-Shooter on the European Southern Observatory 8-meter Very Large uh, Telescope in Chile, the team examined how sunlight reflects off 101-429 and its L5 kin in the Eureka family, only it looks like asteroid 101-429 the Eureka clan are not kin after all, with the analysis revealing that asteroid 101-429 shows a spectral match for a satellite much closer to home. The spectrum of this particular asteroid seems to be almost a dead ringer for parts of the Earth's moon, where there is exposed bedrock such as crater interiors, and mountains. This is what AOP astrochemist Galen Borisov explains. He says we can't be sure yet why that is. He says it's plausible that this Martian Trojan origin began somewhere far removed from the red planet of Mars with asteroid 101-429 representing a relic fragment from the moon's original solid crust. If that's true, how did the moon's long-lost twin end up as a Trojan bound together with Mars. Now, Apostolos Christou, AOP astronomer and lead author of the study says, the early solar system was very different place from what we see today. The space between the newly formed planets was full of debris and collisions were commonplace. Large asteroids or planetismals were constantly hitting the moon and other planets. A shard from such a collision could have reached the orbit of Mars when the planet was still forming and was trapped in its Trojan clouds. In a captivating idea, but it's a captivating idea, but researchers say it's not the only explanation for asteroid 101-429's past. This also is possible, and perhaps more likely that the Trojan instead represents a fragment of Mars chipped off by a similar kind of incident impacting the red planet, or it might just be a commonplace asteroid that through the weathering process of solar radiation, ended up looking just like our moon. Further observations with even more powerful spectrographs might be able to shed more light on this question of space parentage, as could a, fig a future spacecraft visit, of course, as the team says, which could en route to the Trojans obtain spectra at Mars or the moon for direct comparison with the solar data. 
The findings were reported in Icarus. This is on space. Uh, alert by uh, Peter Dockerell. Please leave your comments. Thank you.